So hey guys, that's a little bit of a different video today. I'm in the bathroom. This is the first time. See, okay, I wanted to do like a little sit down, kind of talk, kind of situation like that. A lot of people asked, there was a lot more than I thought, like kind of asked my perspective and experience of Ali's labor and pregnancy. Something that's not really talked about too much because of, you know, the, the women are going through so much. They're the superheroes. I think it's a different perspective that, you know, the partners or the, the husbands or boyfriends or whatever, they have a whole different situation that they're handling and that they're going through, which I thought would be a great idea to do today. And I have to get a haircut. As you can see, it's freaking ridiculous. And my hairdresser, uh, haircut, I don't have a hairdresser. Who are we kidding? The person who cuts my hair is not here. So Allie said that she would cut my hair. And I thought, hey, you know, rather than doing- I'm not a professional though, so don't think that I'm actually gonna do something well. I mean, it couldn't be worse than when I shaved my head. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a time. That was a good old time. I, I figured, you know, might as well hit two birds with one stone. Yeah. Or kill, I like to say well, hit two birds. Well, when you have a birds. baby, you kind of have to improvise and kind of do more than one thing yeah. at a time. And uh, Remy's right there staring at She's us in her little mama, mama room, room. just gliding back and forth yeah. like this, judging us, yeah. like, when are you gonna play? For instance, I'm gonna do a You're... labor and delivery kind of story experience on my channel, and I said to Charles, I'm like, I never hear of, like, the spouse or the partner right. ever talking yeah. about, like, what's going through their mind and what they're experiencing, so I this is like be... a talk with us, Yeah, right? and I really honestly have no idea, like, how to go about uh, talking about it because so much happened on that day. And you know what's gonna be really funny is I'm gonna get so distracted as you're doing that. I know. Why don't you just too. start like start from like the very beginning of the day and then kind of like okay. how it started and like where like what you were so, feeling. So the very beginning of the day. Okay, this is gonna be distracting. I know. It was about was it like seven or eight in the morning? It was like when I. Uh, it was, it was just before nine. Okay, so I just finished feeding, feeding the dogs, and I remember I was kind of sl I was slow. I wake up very slowly. I was slowly waking up. Uh, but this one was a little bit different because Allie came out. She's like, "Oh, I think my water broke," and I immediately popped up because you weren't in bed. You were out in the kitchen. No, I was. I was in bed. I was literally laying in bed. I remember you came around the corner. I'll never forget that. And you're like, "I think my water broke," and I no, sat up. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, and like I literally popped up so fast. I thought like it's like one of those emergency things. Like, okay, the water broke. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't even remember getting ready. I just remember jumping out of bed and just saying we gotta go. So the second Allie said her water broke, I'd say sheer panic came across my body. Like, it was like, I didn't know what to do at that point. You know, cause I've read about a million and one books of the whole situation, but when that time comes, you're just like, um, completely fish out of water. You were pretty, you were pretty overwhelmed. But I feel like I was pretty calm at the same time. Um, uh, I beg to differ. I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea. I remember we got into the, um, the, the waiting room before we got into a room. We were filling out all this paperwork and stuff like that. And the entire time I'm thinking like, why the hell are we sitting here right now? Like this, this, my wife going to labor at any moment. Like, We're sitting. I wasn't like Well, I guess that's something I learned. You thought about like giving birth, maybe. Can, yeah, giving birth like at any second. We don't want to do this next to the vending machine where Fritos are mildly panicking. There. Did you feel? I don't even remember if I filled out the paperwork or I did. You, you did. Okay, see, I don't even remember that. After which felt like freaking forever. There's a lot of gray hairs in here now. They finally moved us into a room. Was that the same room you gave birth? No, so the first room was they wanted to make sure that my water broke and they wanted to check everything before they moved me into a labor and delivery room. And then- I don't even, See, I think I went blank on that one. I think I blacked out at Because you were point. nervous. I think I literally just blacked out. I genuinely don't remember any of that. And now I think the contractions were starting to come. Like when I got to labor and delivery, like what was, how were you feeling? I was confused because then you started having these pains. I, I don't like to see, last time I ever saw Allie in any form of pain was when she had dengue. Yeah. Angel. Baby uncovered. Angel boots. You put the pacifier in the wrong side of your face. Remy's so funny when she doesn't want it, she just goes, just shoots it. Like she's good at like shooting pacifiers. 
across the room. Yeah, she's a projectile spitter upper too. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, I, Allie got that. The entire time, I think, because I was like having these blackout moments where I didn't really know what to do because honestly, the nurses and midwives, they they take care of everything. So at that point, I'm they just, were awesome. they were amazing. So at this point, I'm just sitting there with my thoughts the entire time. I was like overwhelmed and I don't, maybe you could see, maybe you couldn't see, I don't know, but Charles really kept it together and kept me calm. And he was very present in the moment about how I was Externally. feeling. Externally. Like, <laughs> Yeah, but, but internally that, that, I'm just like, okay, like just things just going crazy in my brain at that point. But externally, I knew I had to be like the kind of uh, the rock or the the, mm -hmm. the calm person because I wasn't going to be the one shooting out a baby at my lower end. You were present when it needed when I needed you, right? right yeah, now, which I think is something that. As yeah. an individual going through that, like I didn't realize how important it was. And the entire time I'm thinking, what is going on? I'll be honest, like all the books that I've read, I was just expecting Allie to want to bite my face off. You know, like you see all those movies where it's like, get out of here, you did this for me and stuff like that. I genuinely thought like that's what labor and uh, delivery was going to be. But luckily Allie was incredibly calm. Oh, Alright, before you continue, I need to get your hair wet. Okay, so you have to- Ow! So you had hair in your face. <laughs> it's got the beard. No, it wasn't a beard, it was white hair. <sighs> More white hair, Jesus. I know, sorry. Clean up this bathroom. So where were we? Okay, so we're in labor and delivery. Yeah, then they came in and asked about if uh, Allie wanted to uh, do Pitocin or take Pitocin to speed up the, um, the dilation process. And I remember we kind of looked at each other because this was something that we've heard about a million and one times from people saying, avoid Pitocin if you can. I didn't do any research about what that actually was. But you knew that was something I, I didn't want. I, I, yeah, I knew that was something Allie didn't want. I knew what other people said about it. At her rate, she could have been in their labor for like two or over, three days. Like over 24 hours, which yeah. is obviously not safe for the baby. And my plan was to never do Pitocin. And you would be, not your strength would be gone. Yeah. So they were saying for the baby, it wouldn't be, the best decision. I remember then. Remember, I don't know what I'm doing with this hair. This is gonna, we'll yeah. see how this turns out. That's gonna be, the, that's the funniest part. She's gonna be a mohawk. In the video, if you go watch the video, I'll put a link down in the description. Just watch the whole birth vlog. The contractions before Pitocin, Ali, you could see that she was in pain. But once they administered the uh, Pitocin, Her contractions went from like zero to a hundred in like, I felt like five minutes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was, it was intense. I'm freaking out because I'm seeing her in pain and I don't, I'm like, obviously this is my first kid and this is her first uh, baby, this is our first baby. I didn't know what to expect. So when I'm seeing her in this pain, I'm seeing these giant spikes. I'm either thinking this is normal or I need to go get a, a nurse. All I'm thinking about is at this point, just calming Allie down and just Oops. helping her at least that was in my ear. Oh, this is a side note. I had a fear. You know those little blue vial things where they disinfect the combs? Like, it's probably from a movie. Like the, the barber cut my ear off and then put it in one of those sterile things and you it's could see it. Fear. I feel like I saw it from a movie. If it's from a movie or a show, let me know internet. Sorry, distracted. Was you were say, really quiet a lot of the time. Yes, I because in, internally my brain was like freaking the hell out. Like it's just running around like, you know, like, fa, 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 fa. Like, what were you thinking when I was like going through that pain? Like, were you like, like scared or freak? Like, did you, I, I know you said you were like wondering if it was like natural and stuff, but like, were you? I, like, I think I was a little bit you nervous. Because we were really quiet. Well, because I figured if I said what was on my head, it would make you nervous. I'm flying blind at this whole situation. I have no idea what I'm doing. So it took Allie five hours or so to get to where she was dilated and uh, that's where she kind of stopped. Then they administered the Pitocin and it went from like that to, oh, time to have a baby. And that's, okay, so this is the part where I started freaking out. So I remember I was right next to Allie and okay, first off you said, you kept, Allie kept saying that she felt like she was gonna poop. Yeah, so Allie told me to go out there and I nervously went out there and I talked to the nurse. I was like, um, something's happening. Oh wow, look at that. I'm so scared. Oh, we 
your next contraction, we're actually gonna try to push and see how well you do. You got this, this is amazing. She comes in and she looks and she goes, oh, baby time. And then that's where things got a little crazy because the lights went on, mirrors came down, people swarmed the room. So what was that moment like for you? The thing is, it's normal to be nervous. Like who's not nervous about pushing baby out, right? You know? That was like tunnel, like Because I didn't really take in all of that. I don't think you could. Like it was just, everything happened so fast. So actually by the time delivery came, uh, I was, I was a mess as far as like my stress, my ball, my ball of stress. I, I'm not even kidding. I was so nervous. The only time I ever knocked this camera down, this one, all the other ones I've knocked, I've never felt dropped this one was that day. I knocked this camera over uh, one of the nurses glasses of water. I, I didn't actually know how to like process what was going on because all that was going through my head was making sure Allie was okay making sure she was strong enough that she had enough power left after being so exhausted to push out a baby and then i was i was concerned and worried about you know remy coming out like safely once uh, remy came out and just hit ali's chest i instantly i think instantly it was just love at first sight and it's one of those yeah you it was indescribable like the second i saw you cry and all that stuff, everything just, I mean, it's like, you don't know that you can love something or someone so much unconditionally until you see your child come out for the first time. This little one right here is the most crazy thing I've ever seen and done in my life. Yes, see you. But yeah, guys, that's just kind of how I felt, or like the little bit of my brain. A jumbled emotion. Jumbled emotion. Mix. Yes. That's this video, and that was my my experience. His experience, um, from my point of view, was it was beautiful. He was, was very put together, but I could tell that he was overwhelmed. And I'm very. But good. I can tell you that when she arrived, and we were both just sitting there together, and sitting with Remy, you were, there was just something different. Yeah, it was like it's like a switch flipped on you, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's, it's indescribable. That's that's pretty much the best way to describe you it. You have hair all over I you, have hair all over. Anyway, guys. You can, cha you can change and hold this baby. Are you gonna do your, your I think I Allie's am. gonna do hers on her channel uh, this <laughs> weekend. And so make sure to go to youtube.com slash Allie West, links in the description. Yeah. Go subscribe, turn on your notifications for her as well. I have the dad joke video that I'm still gonna work oh on. God. I'm trying to figure out if you guys have the best dad joke, because this has to be the best one at the very end of the video that I'm oh, gonna actually bless you. Angel. That I'm going to uh, tell her. That's how I wanted to do it. And I'm gonna tell her the dad joke. And that's how we're gonna end it. So I need you guys to give me the best ultimate dad joke. And we can put that in there. Anyway. I will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe and notification bell and all that fun stuff and like the video and whatever. I don't know what else is on YouTube, but you're overwhelmed with emotion. I, exactly. All right. I got a haircut. Now I'm going to uh, go show it off to the world. I did a pretty good job, right? All right. Bye guys.